Greetings from Zagreb. So I'm just back in the hotel now after an amazing evening. Went to see Paul Diano play, former Iron Maiden vocalist. Met up with loads of friends, old and new. Thank you very much to Maiden Croatia for this really cool pass and for the show. So among the people I met up with was my friend Chris Dale. So Chris is a bassist. He's played with loads of bands, Mr. Big, Atom Seed. Um, and I suppose the Iron Maiden connection is that he played with Bruce Dickinson during his solo career. So Chris played with Bruce when they went down to Sarajevo in 1994 during the war. Chris was instrumental in having the film made, Screen For Me Sarajevo. You have to see the film, it's an amazing film. And he was very kind to do an interview with me tonight. Now, of course, technology had to fail. The microphone wasn't great. There's a, it's not the best interview ever. And I may have screwed up a little bit at the end, but hopefully you enjoy it all the same. So let's listen to Chris and me talking nonsense. I'd just say it's the best thing I've ever been involved with, you know, like he says, I've made a few albums and I've done a few things and I've got a book out and stuff, but actually, Scream For Me Sarajevo, if you haven't seen it yet, please, please watch it, it's well worth your while. And seriously, I'm not exaggerating and he's not exaggerating, it is, it is actually that good, it's, it's, it's seriously good. Um, since then, he's written a book with help from fans, myself included, I think, I hope so, I hope so. Uh, that show, they haven't even bought the thing yet, so I haven't read it, but uh, I will buy it. He only brought 20 copies to Zagreb and they all sold out, which shows how good it is. So, the book is called... It's called Inside the Skunk Works Machine. Because the band was called Skunk Works. And this is in, a look inside how the band operated and what went on for those couple of crazy years where, yeah, we played in Sarajevo, but we also toured around the world and we made an album and things. And this is really a look inside it all. And it's not just a chat with me and fans and stuff but also we got a load of guests in and pe other people who were there Alex Elena the drummer at the time Jack and Dina the producer Roland Grappa from Halloween and, yeah. and just loads of people all just chatting and contributing towards making a book and I had like five photo albums of photos obviously um, they've all gone in there loads of people sent in their tickets signed albums and stuff and it's a real labour of love I think and it's, it's a massive thick book but we're only going to make one book on the topic so it's going to be the best one, I think. How many pages? It's 375 full colour pages. It's available on Amazon. Look on your local Amazon. You're going to have to search books yeah. for Inside the Skunk Works Machine. Um, it's a little bit expensive. I'm sorry about that. But it's just printing cost of doing a massive full colour book. <laughs> That's what it is, you know. Don't apologise for it. It's a great book. I say that having not read it, but I, 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 I believe it's a great book. Knowing Chris, I believe it's a great book. Uh, he's a great guy. And if his, his, his past work on Screen For Me Sarajevo is anything to go by, this book is going to be fantastic. So Chris, thank you for taking the time to, um, to do this interview. Uh, we, myself and Chris have been chatting for the last while now. I pretty much can't talk anymore because my mouth is so dry due to the lack of beer. So myself and Chris are going to go for a beer, are we? I think that would be a great idea. All right. in the background. Result. Alright, signing off. Cheers from Sarajevo. No, we're in Zagreb. Fuck. <laughs>